I want to thank Forum 35 for putting this event on, and I'm honored to be here running for mayor of East Baton Rouge Parish. I was fortunate enough to receive a football scholarship in 1976 to come to LSU. And I played at LSU, and at the end of my college career, I was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the third round. And during the football season, I was moved back home to Baton Rouge during the offseason, and I worked with the State Department of Education with Superintendent Kelly Nix. And then when my football career was over, well, during the time I worked with the State Department of Education, I worked with a program called Goals for Youth. And this program was working with migrant students. And the average income of a migrant family was only $8,000 a year. So I was working with some of the poorest kids in our region. <laughs> then when my football playing days were over, I moved back to Baton Rouge and I worked at the Baton Rouge Marine Institute. And if you know anything about the Baton Rouge Marine Institute, it's designed to work with students that can't be in the regular system. They've been adjudicated at least eight times by the judicial system. And so those were some of the worst kids in the in southeast Louisiana. So I had a chance to work with some of the poorest and some of the most troubled kids in our area. Then in 1988, I was hired by LSU to become the associate athletic director. And I spent 12 years at LSU. Then I became athletic director at Texas State University. Then I went to Chicago State University and then Southern University. So as you can see, education is a, a very important part of my life. But I have to share this story with you. When I came to LSU back in 1976, and I didn't know this until I got to LSU, Louisiana was ranked last in the nation on the literacy test. Thank God we're 49th now. Thank God for Mississippi. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys saw that in the papers last week, that we were 49th. But anyway, Evangeline Parish, where I'm from, ranked last in Louisiana. And Bill Platt High, where I went to high school, was last in Evangeline Parish. So if I was last in my class, that would have made me the dumbest kid in America. So thank God I was not last. But then when I got to LSU, and I was in this geography class, and of all the people, the professor said, Mr. LaFleur, would you please stand up? So I stood up. He said, Mr. LaFleur, tell the class what you know about the English channel. I'm like, the English channel? Like, we don't have cable TV in Bill Platt. <laughs> I didn't know anything about the English channel. I'm still trying to find that channel. But no, education is very, very important to me. And one of my priorities as mayor of Baton Rouge would be to work with North Baton Rouge. Because the reason I got into this race is because I've lived in every region of this country. And I, could, I see the potential that we have to be a very, very good city. Baton Rouge can be one of the best cities in the country to live in. But we can't leave North Baton Rouge behind. And what I would like to do is partner with the private sector like IBM, Microsoft, city government, and the school system and build a new school in North Baton Rouge where we blend classroom learning with workforce experience so that our kids, when they finish, they can go to work now. These technology companies, they are having a hard time finding people qualified to work. They can only find one out of five positions that they offer to fill these positions because the, the workforce are, are not prepared. So we can bring something like this to Baton Rouge, and particularly North Baton Rouge. Secondly, you know we have a challenge with our traffic. And you know when I came to Baton Rouge, after I got out of the NFL, they had this huge explosion at Exxon. And, and Baton Rouge is very vulnerable. And with that explosion, and then you have Dow Chemical across the bridge. And then you had Katrina in 2005. And then we had the flood a few months ago. So we are a very vulnerable city. And as mayor, we have to do something with this traffic. And one of the things that we have to do is build a new bridge. Because if something catastrophic happens here, we are all in trouble because there's no way to get out of here. At 2.30 in the afternoon, you can't even cross the bridge. That's without a, a, a catastrophic incident. So can you imagine if something bad happens? Do you remember when Katrina happened? People took as long as 12 to 15 hours to get from New Orleans to Baton Rouge. I just think if we all had to try to go west at the same time. So it's very, very critical that we start working on the bridge now because it wouldn't be completed until 10 years from now. So that, that's very important. Third thing, we got to deal with this crime in Baton Rouge. And that's why I'm very, that's why I'm a proponent of building a new school because that school can help us with the crime that we are having, particularly in North Baton Rouge. And we'd have to start community policing. We'd have to work with our police department so that they can go into our communities and educate those young kids on, on what the laws are. 
A lot of time it has to do with ignorance more than anything else. But at the same time, nobody wants to address the elephant in the room. And the elephant in the room is black on black crime. Somebody has to take on the black on black crime that's happening in our community. Because in order for Baton Rouge to reach its full potential, we have to eliminate the crime. We have to improve our education. We have to improve traffic. So I'm so excited about being in this race because I know how great Baton Rouge can be. And I feel like with what I have achieved, and I'm not a politician, I just know how to get things done. So I'd appreciate your support on November the 8th. Thank you very much, and thanks for having me today.